Marcus here is ready to start a revolution. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Smartwatch, model T215, phone number 555-847-33. Somebody should call that, see who it is. Apparently they've taken in the future, they have one less number in phone numbers. Not only did they fake the phone number, they didn't finish it either. Emily Wilson, supervisor's daughter. Water service interruption, fire safety rating poor. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. I think something. Five. Yeah, I can't see it from this angle. No, I don't want to call. I want to go back in the analysis. No! Oh, that's annoying. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I don't know, I'll never know at this point. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. See, I think RA9 is some kind of code that once you unlock it as an Android, you can then transmit it to other Androids like he just did and he's done in the past. He's He can turn them into allies. So I think that RA9 isn't actually an Android. I think it's like some sort of computer code that gets unlocked or something. Oh, that's all right, Julie. Don't worry about it. 
Like I said, there's the uh, past broadcast if you want to see the parts you missed. Plus, there's no way I do one playthrough of this game and not uh, not play it again, so. Connor and, and the lieutenant investigated another case. Um, were you there when um, Marcus and Jericho did like a little heist to get more parts and supplies for the androids? And uh, did you weren't there? Oh, you were. Oh my! There was a scene with with Kara and Alice where they they go to this house and it was stressful as fuck. But they eventually find uh, a new friend and then end up at an amusement park. I think those are like the three big missions that you you missed. I am here. Access server room. Find package in men's bathroom. Oh, I have no idea, Julie. No idea. Now, of course, what makes no sense is that if somebody could get in there to hide it for them, why didn't they use the same same route to get up there in the first place? But, you know, we won't worry about that. Uh, no, Dodger, but there are androids on the police force. But the game's, like, very much more complex than just that. There's there's three different storylines. You play as three different characters. Find utility android. Is this the utility android? Probably not. Can't get past them this way. Here we go. Over there. I need your help. See, he just like converts them. They haven't actually explained how he's doing it though. That's why I think it has something to do with RA9. Yeah, something like that. There's the fire escape.
That's north. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Apparently they can speak uh, telepathically. Track guards away from door. Apparently I can hack all sorts of electronics. Platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. But windows. Like a heist movie. Grabs the window off with the vacuum. <laughs> right, Eskizi? I'm still curious about why the Jericho people still have their LED when the two of the three characters we've seen so far have removed their LEDs. Two of the three that have, like, broken free of their programming. But everyone at Jericho seems to keep theirs in, which is interesting. That's a pretty epic shot right there. Not yet, Julie, no. He has, like, moments where they say his programming is unstable, but he has not completely broken free like Marcus and Kara. That's a weird answer. Why wouldn't I be? For some reason, that just that struck me very odd that she would say that. I mean, I understand why she would say that, you know, because she's an android and stuff, but it seems like a weird response. All of a sudden, I feel very weird about all this. Let's do this. Leroy!
I don't like how they're like all standing behind me and stuff. I don't know. Something feels off, man. I feel like a betrayal is coming, like I mentioned earlier. Deal with no, we guards. Can't. We can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Send! Yeah, I feel like that didn't go right. They know we're here now. You better be fast. What was my ruse? That did not go well. I didn't get any option to do anything except draw my gun. Okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. I'm so confused. That sucked. about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Oh, he doesn't want to be known. Okay, gotcha. in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. 
They're coming. Let's go. Well, guess we ain't getting freedom yet. I am mashing the X button like never before. Hold on. Let me plug it in. Can't be having to go out some critical quick time event. Kaiser. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't let him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Fuck! Dudes, I don't know what to do. God. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Oh, don't say that. I can't. I can't do it now. Fuck. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. He had to say that, didn't he? We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody... Had an increase in public opinion. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Game is amazing. Holy decisions, Batman. Three different endings. Is there any other endings that cut short? No. Just those three. Forty eight percent, about half the people had the ending that I did, which means the other fifty are spread across the other two, uh, other two endings. How do only 99% of the people get to the jump? What happens to the other 1%? I understand. I guess maybe if you if you don't leave Simon? No, because it still has to get to one of these endings. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next playthrough.